Hello everybody, Hayden here today with another episode of Minecraft Dinosaurs, and this is actually the appropriate video for that intro. Unlike those of you, for the, any of you guys might be like, what do you mean, the appropriate intro? For those of you who don't know, um, or didn't see yesterday's video, I, uh, I accidentally did this intro. I was like, hey guys, Caden here, back with another episode of Minecraft, uh, I, ooh. And then I realized I did the wrong intro. Anyway, we are back on the dinos world, and I want to preface something before we really get into this episode. Um, and it, it's not really to do with anything on the world, it's just kind of to do with something that, about me. If I sound tired or just kind of out of it today, literally, I... I somehow took the wrong lunchbox to school. So in their base, in, my, in my family, we have two lunchboxes that look very similar. One is mine, which I always pack with a really decent lunch. And then the other was empty. And in my rush to get to school this morning, basically just to make sure I had everything, I uh, grabbed the wrong lunchbox. So I, and I hadn't had breakfast that morning either because basically I'd been playing video games that morning, or not that morning, this morning. And <laughs> so I had not eaten in like, um, I didn't eat till like 20 minutes ago, really. And <laughs> anyway, yeah, so I, I haven't really eaten at all today and I'm very, I was very hungry and <laughs> very tired for those of you who would not guess that. I mean, it's very tiring not to eat at all. And it was a long day of school, so lots of thinking involved. Anyway, guys, since last episode, some stuff has happened. I dug out a little tunnel. We have a little tunnel. This is something I was talking about in the previous episode. Um, just kind of digging out a little back view space here. And I kind of like, I think, I, I kind of like, I like how this is looking. I think we're gonna keep digging it out. And um, let me see, what's on the other side of this hill? Like actually, what is on the other side of the hill? Huh. I never really thought about what's on the other side. I think the, no, the entrance is not in there. The entrance was in there. Um, let's get a door made, because we need a way in and out of the ex bit. Of course, it starts raining. Brilliant. Absolute brilliant. Let's see, where's the pickaxe? Uh, pickaxe. Pick. Pick. Okay. Let's see. There we go. We got a door, and we will dig a bit of a doorway into the Dilophosaurus exhibit. Anyway, I want to see what is actually on the other side of this, because. And there's my doorbell. I have no idea where the doorbell is ringing. Okay, let's just hop in. How? And then. Temporary door. Anyway, we are here in with our little little officers. They've grown up quite a bit. We're well, not quite a bit. They've grown up a little bit. Oh. Ah. You guys are getting big. Also, I did the rock formation thing I said I was going to do. So, what is right here? Huh. That's weird. Anyway, yeah, we got this, uh... Slash. I have to get rid of the rain. I, to, I, I just have to get rid of that rain. Anyway, yeah, I put that little rock formation there thing that I was talking about earlier, and I really like actually having that there. I think it makes it look a little bit cooler. Kind of as if there's a whole, like, it's a cave in there and stuff, and that's just kind of a viewport into the cave. I don't know, I, I really like how that looks. Anyway, yeah, I want to see, what do we actually have on the other side of this exhibit? Um, lots of mountain. Ooh, we could do an interior exhibit. For those of you who are like, what's an interior exhibit? It's an exhibit that doesn't, at least when I do them, it's an exhibit that never really touches the sun. It's kind of like, if I actually go over there real quick, show you the Compsognathus exhibit. Uh, it's kind, It's kind of like that, where you don't really get any natural light. It's kind of like a tunnel or something that you kind of see. But if you think about it, we have more than enough space back here to add another dinosaur in. What dinosaur could we do though? Because we've got Compsognathus already in this tunnel. I mean, technically, we... Not technically. We could potentially move Compsognathus onto the other side, but I don't really think that works. Because I think it makes a lot more sense for it to be just, like, a minor attraction. Because Compies, although cool, 
are not the most interesting dinosaurs in the world, especially considering when the park would be open, like in real life, they're not even awake. They just kind of sleep all the time. So I wonder what we could put. If we put something behind Dilophosaurus, what would we put there? Um, let's actually go look at this side. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think about this because I, I started like to like doing more of the planning in the episodes because I don't know. Gives you guys a better idea of what I plan on doing and myself what I'm even going to do. Um, this was the area I was starting to think maybe for Velociraptor. Do Velociraptors ever... We have an island there. No, wait, no. I think that might be just part of... I'll check that out sometime. I want to see, because if that's an island, that could be an act the actual site, because you guys know, will know if you've seen the last couple of episodes. Um, the area I did decide was going to be Site B is now changing into a different area. It's going to be Triceratops and Gallimimus. So, I mean, if that's a completely sealed off island, that would work. Ooh, you guys are awake! They are absolutely adorable. I think... No, I think that was actually just... Yeah, I think it was just his mouth. I was like, oh, does that one have a red throat? Is that how you tell it's a male? Honestly, I could not tell... You for the life of me, I could not tell you which ones are the guys and the, which ones are the girls. They honestly look so similar. It's like a dog. It's just chasing its own tail. Man, comfies are stupid. <laughs> or weird, I guess. It's kind of adorable. Oh, boy. Run away. You got to run away. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Can't speak English to who day. Okay, let's see. What do you want to work on now in the park? In Le Jurassic Park or Paleo Park or Prehistoric? Oh, we already have two signs. That is absolutely beautiful. B-E-A-U-T-I-F-U-L. Let's see. To fight Skelebob. Pow, 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 pow. Pow! Skeletons can't stop this. Da 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 da. Can't stop this. Okay, we need names for this li the Dilophosauruses. So a name, a numero. We probably don't want to put the names there. Where do we want to put the names? We could put it here. Okay, so num numer num name numero uno is. Well, we're going to do this and then is it was it that let's see no it was dolly for the, our first female doll officer and that was named by i just saw the name a second ago lps keeper lps keeper i think i spelled your name correctly sorry if i didn't and the second name that i've chosen is let's see where, where was it? Um, it was somewhere. Ooh. I think we're gonna go with, just do that because why not? Daisy by, oops, on, is it, let's see, on yeah. Thank you guys for naming our Dilophosaurus. Someone did comment, name it Dennis, and I thought that was kind of funny because obviously that's a quote to, or, or not a quote, a reference to Jurassic Park. And if we get a male, we will definitely name it Dennis because, well, that'd just be funny. Anyway, on to what we should actually be doing in an episode for today. Let's go into the lab. As you do, these raptors really need a home, don't they? I'll get to making them home eventually. When eventually is, I have no idea, but I will eventually get to them and make them a house. Let's see, what dinosaurs do we actually have? We have, or DNA, we have Ceratosaurus, uh, Coelacanth, Therizinosaurus. Actually, dinosaurs we don't have currently. Ceratosaurus, Deinonychus, Confuciusornis, Henotus, Mosasaurus, or Precursors, I guess. Um, hmm. From what I'm seeing, we really don't 
have an animal that I can really think of doing in an interior exhibit, which kind of stinks because there's so much room back there to definitely make a whole another exhibit. I mean, I guess if we don't do an exhibit, we could do a building, to, or not a building, but like some sort of thing back there. We could put like a cafe in there. That wouldn't be that bad of a night. Yeah, that'd actually be kind of cool. We could do like, maybe it could just be like over here, we go two more panels or so of viewports and then build a cafe back here or something like that. I think that'd be kind of cool. It kind of reminds me again of what we did last season where we had the Dilof, not Dilof source, the uh, Comstagnathus area have a tunnel cafe thing. My computer's getting loud. I need to buy an actual desktop PC soon. And by soon, I mean I have no idea when. This was going to be Confucius Soreness, was it not? I don't know if I actually want to put Confucius Soreness in here. Because I'd kind of like to have it. You guys were saying, like, I think this was the area I was thinking of. Like, putting Confucius Soreness out there, would, over there, would not be a bad idea. And the Lost Raptors were going to go over here. And then we've kind of got this whole area done. So, let's see, what else do we have then? We still have several carnivores I know of. Because once we get Triceratops and Gallimimus in, I think, yeah, after that we should have all the herbivores in the park. So the only carnivores left will be Allosaurus, T-Rex, or the carnivores left in the park will be T-Rex, Allosaurus, Ceratosaurus, Deinonychus, and Velociraptor, I guess. So, carnivores I have a plan for right now. Velociraptor. Spinosaurus. Oh yeah, because... What was I going to move in? I think I said I was going to move Allosaurus into the old Spinosaurus enclosure. Some of you guys, I think, said I should do T-Rex in here. Just because, well, it's a big exhibit. I don't think I will, but that's definitely an idea. So let's see. I think... I mean, if not Allosaurus, Ceratosaurus in here. Because, I mean, this is not a bad exhibit. I actually am pretty proud, especially with this elevated pathway design. I love how I did that. It looks so cool. You know, I'm just thinking now, on Atlas, when I actually have to come up with a wall design or some sort for, like, either an actual defensive wall type thing or maybe a wall for an interior, definitely going to do something akin to that because I really like how that looks, actually. Anyway, so, um, yeah, this is going to be Spinosaur over here, which means I'll need to bring pathways over and stuff. This exhibit's definitely going to get a wee bit smaller. Probably going to have to take out the, this diagonal section of the fence or part of that. Let's see, actually. Um, yeah, we actually just need to take out one section of the diagonal fence, and that's it. So, yeah. Things are starting to fall into place. Things are definitely starting to fall into place but yeah i think we definitely do need to move the spinosaurus fairly soon i don't know when i'm gonna get to moving him but we definitely should get to moving him fairly s do we have i think i know we could do this episode i think i have an idea and it's something that people kept telling me to do i'm like ah nah i don't think i want to do that i kind of want to save it for something else but this is very practical and we kind of need it so hopefully we have some dominican amber somewhere guys because we're going to make an aquatic scarab gem or hopefully going to try to so that way we can tame our spinosaurus dominican amber scarab gem put them together and we get an aquatic scarab gem blue beetle Okay, um, now we need a weapon. How much does this do? Five attack damage. Oh, it's gonna be... Oh, I never like doing these kind of tames. It's very nerve-wracking that I don't accidentally kill the dinosaur. But also, I'm going to need to make sure I don't die myself to the Spinosaurus, because this dude will just ruin my day if he gets too close. And the peaceful Minecraft music turns on as I go into Tame a Spinosaur. Oh boy. Come on, dude. We, we, we just need... To tame you. Oh, 
Oh, is he walking? Oh. Oh. Oh, is he asleep? Oh, I think he's down. <sighs> nope, I died. Okay, let's hope he's not going to die in the next 30 seconds and tame him. Because I think he, it looked like he was knocked out. It looked like he was knocked out. Hopefully he is. But I think even then, if you knock him out, especially with T-Rex. Oh, no, he's up. He's up. Oh, no. I am very scared to hit him again. Because if I hit him again, and it does too much damage, he's going to die. You know, this is going to take a bit, is it not? Oh, boy. Spino taming. <laughs> I've already died two more times to the Spinosaurus. Sweet. It's just gonna be like, I'm at 29 deaths now. I'm gonna have like 70 deaths by the end of this. And the Spinosaur taming. Oh boy. I wanna actually click, click, quick him, click him real quick with the uh, Scarab Gem and see what it says. Maybe I won't have to kill him. This is actually, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> um, I think we got really close the first time. I, it's just, I really wanted to do it as a, uh, it's kind of like playing Ark. When you know you're taming something that is very, very like low on health and has high torpor and you're just trying to shoot the right amount of times that it knocks out. But also the correct amount of times that you don't kill it. Um. Oh, this is nerve wracking. Nope, okay, he's... Oh, no, he's unconscious, he's unconscious. He's unconscious. I think he's tamed. I think we tamed him! Yes! We tamed him and we didn't kill him! Oh. Oh, that was terrifying. That was... Terrifying. Whew. Look at that sheep. That sheep's just like, what? Anyway, we gotta make a whip now. A whip. A whip. A whip. <laughs> I know why I'm saying like it. It's saying it like that, but you know what? Why not? Let's get. Is it three string? I think it's three string. Please tell me we have string somewhere else in these chests. Yay, we do. Okay, good. So let's see. I think it's just that. There we go. We have a whip. And then we get our dino. P oh, no. The, the scarab gem is back. Did he not tame? Did it not tame him? I would... Where is he? Oh no, he's here, he's here. Okay, he killed me. Does that mean he's not tame? Cause I could have sworn I tamed him there. Did we not? I really need to end this episode soon. Cause if I don't, then I won't be able to upload it in time. Cause I'm going out to dinner tonight and stuff. Um, 
Continued. Health 86 out of 86. We could kill him with a... Oh, I said kill him. We could hit him with a bow and see if that works better. The thing is, I don't know exactly how much damage a bow does every hit. So, I'm a bit more worried about you trying to use a bow, because, like, if I hit him one too many times, he is going to die. And I really don't want to have to have another dinosaur die, because it's always a tragedy when it happens. Um, I know power 5 does, like, 20 hearts of damage, because... It went fully drawn back, so if power, I think, adds another point of damage when fully drawn back, power 5 does 20, or is it 2 points of damage? I don't know. Let's see. We'll see. You can't hit them with bows. I forgot that. Oh, but he fully heals every time he kills me! Ah! Why? Game, why did... Developers, why did you make it so difficult? Just when I was part of the rest for my episode, it hasn't been me. I'd really just like to hop into creative mode and ki not kill team this son of a gun. Honestly. I... No! Ah! Ah! Why game? Mod, I do nothing but give you love. I, I I compliment you at every turn and how do you repay me? You don't let me tame my freaking spinosaurus. Oh, it would honestly just, at this point, it might just be easier to move him by, like, make, hitting him and then make him chasing, have him chasing him. The Spinosaurus is honestly too smart. 79. It's taunting me. The Spinosaurus is taunting me. What? Like an Xbox achievement just popped up on my computer. See, as soon as we jump in. Yep. And heals up now. Come on! Cooperate! Why won't you just let me hit you with the sword and tame you? It'll be better when it's done. And then I gotta ride you around and show the viewers how cool you are. But no, you have to be troublesome. You have to make him him him. Stupid Spinosaur. And for being one of the coolest dinosaurs. No! <laughs> <laughs> Why? I've had a long day. I didn't eat. Well, I ate like 20 minutes ago, but I haven't eaten all day pretty much. I'm hungry. I'm tired. I want to go and play other video games. I want to give these lovely people an episode to watch. And what are you doing to me, Spinosaurus? What are you doing? You're, you're causing problems. You know what? Spinosaurus, you brought this upon yourself. <laughs> if you weren't gonna let me tame you legit, I have to tame you the hard way. Which means I may also kill you on accident. Actually, I wanna see how old this guy is. 52 days old. Okay. Let's see, how much does it do a hit? Um, 11 damage. Okay, we'll just... Two, three, four, five. Um, let's see how much health does he have. Forty-seven. Do 
do three more hits. Okay, 26. Let's see, how much health? 12. Okay. Now, if we hit him. Tamed! <laughs> Hallelujah! It worked. <laughs> oh. I think that was unnecessary evil. Slash game mode zero. Okay. I couldn't actually see what I was typing there. <sighs> How do I control you? Skull stick. Ah. Uh. Oh, you actually can't get out. I I really messed up when I made this exhibit. But look how fast he is in the water! Oh! I got him out! I got him out! Oh! <laughs> how cool is this? We're riding a Spinosaurus! Well, guys. We're gonna hop off him real quick. Look how cool he is! Let's see. You are... You are overjoyed. Your ma, your happiness is at a hundred percent. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this epic ending where we tame our Spinosaurus. If you did, make sure to hit that like button to show support. Of course, I am. I'm so sorry, buddy. I can actually forgive you now. Anyway, thank you again for watching. Hope you did all enjoy. And until next time, guys. See ya.